<laughs> World of Wolf Tracks, I'm Bobby the Wolf Mullins, your paranormal DJ, your shock jock, the outlaw, the number one bad boy of paranormal, and uh, you're listening to Texas Hippie Coalition. Yeah, the, uh, the t song is called Turn It Up. A friend of mine turned me on to this group, kind of a nice band Let's do it if you're angry, want to get some shit started or whatever. And let me get my headphones just as I'm all pretty for you people. Anyhow, I got kind of a kick-ass show today. I got another outlaw on there on the uh, show today, Rick uh, Rick and his wife Margie Wigrigen, uh, Wigerson, uh, they are from Paranormal's Raw True. They are the ones who won the Viewer's Choice Award of 2012. Uh, let me give my disclaimer right quick. If you don't like what you see, you don't like what you hear, you don't like the topics, the language, hell, even the equipment, turn me off. But if you like the topics, the language, the hell, the guests, the equipment, whatever, turn me on! That's right. That goes out to Eric King, writer for... As you know, I'm bleeping myself out on certain things because it was brought to my attention via the censored episode I did uh, that certain things can't be mentioned that were mentioned in the office can't be mentioned on my show. So this show can be found on YouTube.com, Ustream.com, and .com. Also, .com. So there you go. I gave my shameless plug. Now let's get Rick on. Let me turn this down a little bit and let's get Rick on. Rick's the one that turned me on to this group. Pretty kick-ass band. Hey, Rick, you there? What's up, everybody? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? You jammed me, jammed my song. Hell yeah. All right, dude. Well, anyway, I got Rick Wiggerson online, uh, the head guy, I guess, of uh, Paranormal's Raw Truth. This is the guy. His group beat Wolf Tracks out on the VCA by a mere 100 votes. And, uh... He was my only competition, and basically I was his only competition. So uh, we're setting the standard. Uh, the platform has been raised. The bar has been raised. And you other shows, you other groups, you better catch up. Because I'm talking to one of the front runners right now. And you're talking about a badass. This guy I'd run with, he scared shit out of me. <laughs> hey, Rick, how you doing, brother? Let me get this music off so we can do our little interview thing. There we go. Yeah, it sounded good. Hell yeah, it sounded good. All right, brother, look. Yeah. So uh, what's it like being the VCA winner? How cool is that? Well, it's very cool, dude. Appreciate everybody that voted for us, man. Oh, yeah. That's the thing we never counted on. You know, we were hoping to get the uh, new show of the year. and uh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming down the end there watching the show and they talking about that. Uh, we got mentioned, man. I was on my knees. I couldn't believe it. But, uh, yeah, thanks to everyone around the world for uh, voting for us, man. Stay with us. Follow us. They will. They will. Like I said, uh, you have brought a unique twist to the paranormal uh, ghost hunting uh, aspect of this whole genre in my eyes. Right. Uh, I told on a couple of my older shows that we had to break the norm, break the uh, status quo of, you know, hopping in the truck. They get exactly. the little radio call. They get the low down in the truck, and they get to the house, and before they walk in, commercial. And then they go to find some evidence, and as soon as it happens, commercial. Commercial. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's all it is. Yeah, that's it. Hey, are you going to censor this, or are I going to watch what they say? Uh, you do what you want. I don't care. I don't gain my disclaimer. I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it. We'll just we'll try to keep it low-keyed. How about that? Yeah, I, yeah, no problem. Well, I've been drinking already, so they're going to have to forgive me. <laughs> yeah. We've hit, we've all been sick, man, for weeks with this flu going on. So I'm sorry to hear that, brother. I'm sorry to hear that. Slow, man. It's Margie, you doing okay with it? Uh, she still got it. She still got it. You know, suddenly you can't get rid of it, I guess, unless you go to a doctor. I guess. I don't know. Or drink a lot of NyQuil or something. I don't know. Bourbon. Uh, I don't know. Doing that, dude. <laughs> like, but yeah, man, uh, uh, the approach we take is, uh, you know, not like other groups and other people. We don't, we don't follow no one's path. We make our own. Okay, so what's the approach you take? What is what's different about yours? We don't take no bullshit. We go in and we're not nice guys. The girls are nice. Uh, I don't like to be nice. I like to uh, stir shit up, so to speak. You know, we, we're like the military man. We go in there to we get our results. Okay. We're not there, yeah, we're not there to piddle paddle around. So you you, know? you provoke, in other words. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would call. Well, whatever. I mean, that's what they call it. It's provoking, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen yeah. I've seen a couple of your episodes, and I, like one of my favorite is the one where you heard something downstairs 
and you didn't hesitate. You charged full bore downstairs to see what the hell it was. Oh, hell yeah, man. I, you was, ain't scared of nothing. Yeah, that was crazy, that place. A lot of stuff, a lot of activity in there. Yeah, I thought someone was honestly down by all of our equipment. Yeah. Because you know, uh, the footsteps and the noise and uh, the hell with that. You know, you can knock my stuff off and break it, you know. Hey, this equipment costs equipment. a lot of money. Oh, yeah, it does. Yes, it People does. People don't realize, you know, that's a lot of money tied up in equipment. So let me ask you this. Uh, when did when did your group get started, Rick? Uh, we put together, we were real investigations of the paranormal. Uh, <clears throat> and then we started the show. We went with Paranormal's Raw Truth for the fact that uh, there's so many teams that are RIP, RIP this, RIP that. And right. it's just uh, too much. You know, so we changed it to Paranormal's Raw Truth because that's what we're bringing you. You know, the raw truth, there ain't no bullshit in it. You know, and uh, but we've been doing uh, this a uh, 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 few quite a few years, man. That's cool. Five five years since we moved to Denver. Sweet. Yeah, and, and with all the evidence we get, it's so much more than what the shows give on TV and and uh, the uh, cable and, and crap like that. That uh, we decided to put our own thing together and right. let the world know what really we get. You know. Well, that works. Uh, let me ask you this. I, I mean, I already know this answer, but my viewers don't. They might not know. Uh, Paranormal's raw truth. The word raw means something, doesn't it, Rick? That's my initials. Oh. Yeah. Rick something yeah. Wiggerson. Arthur. Arthur. King, <laughs> King Arthur. Man. King Arthur. Same middle name as mine. That's kick-ass. Yeah. Uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we wield a big sword, us Arthurs. <laughs> but anyway. A couple of tracks. Yeah, there you go. Um, but now let me ask you this, that you, you know, your, your team runs full bore at things, uh, no holds bar kind of attitude towards ghost hunting. Have you run into anything with your team that has made you go, wait a second, maybe not? Yeah. Um, came across a demon. I, I was on that, uh, solo actually. Uh, but I came actually, an actual demon, you know, I never believed in, uh, anything that came across that would ever hurt you, you know, besides scratches, which we all get. Correct. Uh, but this thing mm -hmm. here, uh. It, it choked me out, and I lost 15 minutes of my life. Wow. I woke up in the front yard, you know, puking and uh, people with cameras. And I'm, I actually thought I someone spiked a drink, and I was at a party. I had no clue what happened. Really? That's yeah, crazy, that, man. So let me ask you this. How, yeah. how did you shake it? Well, for the next month, I wanted to cut my throat. I kept really? hearing a real nice voice in my head. Every time I open up the, the silver drawer, I see a butter knife, and I hear a voice say, stick it in your neck and pull it out. Wow, really? Yeah, and uh, I called the team that helped me get rid of this demon. That's how it got into me. It left through the house through me. Oh, wow. And uh, Oh, yeah, dude. I don't remember uh, anything about anything. I, you know, it was this ritual thing, that dude, talking in old Latin. And I, peeking through one eye, like, what is this, a joke? And then it was like an inner tube around my neck filled instantly where I couldn't swallow, speak. I couldn't do crap, man. I was stuck in my seat. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was bad, man. So how? And back to the question: How? I mean, I know your team. You said your team helped you shake this thing or get rid of it. How did you get rid of it? I mean, did you go to a priest? Did you do some? Well, I had to call in uh, some special guys that deal with demonic stuff. Oh, demon demonologists. Yeah, there's a group out here. Um, I don't have the card right now. I can't think of the name of the top of my head, but uh, yeah, I called them and they came in and checked it out. You know, the evidence that we picked up. We went in there first, you know, raised some ruckus, got some really good EVPs, high EMF spikes where there's nothing, and uh, let these guys know what we got. When they got there, they took me outside and said, uh, you're not dealing with anything that we thought we were. Uh, they pulled this picture of Pazuzu. And what is a Pazuzu? The, that was the son of a bitch that got me. What is it? I mean, do you know what he is? He's one of the 13 generals that was taken, dragged to hell when the big guy kicked uh, uh Satan out. Yeah, he kicked Satan down. Okay. Satan, that was one of his 13 generals, and he's in charge of, the, I believe it's the Southeast Wind and Pestilence. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, he's a bad son of a bitch, man. I hear you, man. If he got a hold of you, he is a bad. Ooh, ooh, oh, he did. He did. I mean, he, you know, to go, to go, like, I went a month thinking of that, you know, and I called these guys up, and they told me, no more stuff. Don't do nothing else. Let your body, you got a residual thing going on now. Let it, let it leave. So I just chilled out. Yeah. Well, that's no cool. It's, it's not with you night. anymore, is it? You don't have these problems anymore, do you? No. No, but I look forward to coming across another one. All right. right. Let me ask yeah. you this. What, what, uh, for our, for the listeners, 
And for the people, you fans of your show and other paranormal shows, and let's say they go, they're going to go ghost hunting, what are some telltale signs or some warning or red flags that they've run into something, not a spirit or a, pu a person like you like to refer it to, a human, but a demon? What's a telltale sign that it's a demon? Uh, when you get objects that usually are thrown around, physical stuff, you know, where you got claims of people uh, being physically hurt, um, that's a pretty good damn sense something's going to happen. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah. like, let's say you walked into the house and you knew nothing of the house other than the fact that there was activity there. Would there you be know, any, any telltale signs that you could see or notice? Well, you know, what I'm starting to do is starting to go with my feelings. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a psychic. I ain't shit, man. I'm just like everybody else. You know, I drink, I smoke, you know. it. It's, uh, oh, damn, dude. You know, you I, just go I, with I, your I, gut instinct. I, I feel my hair stands up. I can feel the energy. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I like going to a place and not knowing because everywhere we go, it doesn't make no difference if people are saying something's going on or not. There's always uh, spirit life. There's always people to talk to everywhere you go. Now wait a second. Let's go with the let's 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 uh, let's deal with that topic right quick. Uh, for the viewer that doesn't know a whole lot about ghost hunting and or uh, seeking out the paranormal or what you call humans, uh, uh, you say they're around us all the time. Yeah, I, you could uh, we could probably me and you do a thing on uh, Skype here, and uh, and we could pick up some stuff. That's going at your place. Well, you see, that see makes that. sense because uh, we weren't here first, supposedly. I mean, you know, there were other people that lived where we lived or had houses or whatever, and they right. died on the property we're, sit we're sitting on. Yeah, and none of that, but, uh, you know, um, when you pass, you go to heaven, you go to hell, or for some reason, you have to pay a penance. And yeah. You got to correct your ways, and you're stuck in the lifetime that you were. I mean, I've gotten EVPs. Um, from people saying that they eat and drink and watch TV just like we do. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, kind of like the. Uh, I tell you what, it sounds a lot like, and I don't like referring to these guys ghost hunters, but uh, the Princess Bed episode where they had the EVP where the the lady was actually talking to him in real time. Right. That was crazy, man. You get stuff like that. Yeah. We, well, I like to listen to my EVPs right away. I mean, I got the headphones in so I can hear. You know, and that and makes sense. Seventy-five percent of the time, I could hear them. You know, and I'll say it right there. I just heard you, and play it back, and you can hear exactly what they say. Oh, that's awesome, man! Yeah, that was well, a problem our team was running into. Was uh, to me, in my opinion, was the fact that we we would go on these hunts and get these EVPs, but we wouldn't know what they said till we got back to home base and put them through the computer and everything. Yeah, well, we we got to set up so we could go right on to the laptops. You know, we got the DVRs running. Go, wow. We put our stuff right on there, and someone's going over it. And they'll walkie-talkie let you know what, you know, in this room you got this response. Awesome. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, we hit, it, we hit it where we're at, man. We try to, um, you know, you learn that from experience. You come home, and you listen to it, and someone says something to you, and it's like, man, I want to go back and answer that. Right. A lot of people want help. A lot of people want help. So when you say people, you mean the, the what they what the general populace calls a ghost. Yeah, I don't. They're, to you, they're people. I get that. It's a friendly ghost, my friend. Right, right. I get that. Yeah. But, but to the general. Talking. You to, know, if I ask you a question, you answer me back. It's the right. same thing in the spirit world. I ask them, they answer back in a civilized, you know, intelligent response. Correct, they're correct. People, people. But I was just, I was trying to explain to the viewer that might not understand when you say people, you're actually meaning their spirit. term or the layman's term of ghost or spirit or specter right. or whatever. Okay, exactly. cool. Exactly. So uh, now let me ask you this. I know you have a wife, Margie. Uh, does she go on the ghost hunts with you? Oh, yeah. She's there, man. She's uh, got the gift like I got. Wow. Oh, all know, right. Like, we so, came, met each other and, and found out you know, what we do and hit it off, man. I mean, uh, Does that give a different element for you as far as having your better half? I will say better half because she puts right, up with boss. you. But uh, yeah. to have that, have her to protect, you got to protect her from this stuff. I mean, it's all, and every man is to protect their spouse, better half, whatever. Does that give a different element for you? Yeah, but see, you can't, you can't fight something you can't see. You can't fight something that's at another level, you know? Yeah, but it's not for the lack of trying, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, we all do our own thing. Like I say, my prayers, I ask for guardian uh, warriors or uh, angel warriors. 
ask for angel healers. So if anyone needs help or we need help, they're there. And I ask for uh, angel communicators, ones that come out and help the people, the spirits there, talk to us. So they're like uh, translators. They're ones that coax them out. Oh, okay, right. cool. You know, they're the ones that are going to bullshit them into talking to us. Ah, they're the middlemen. <laughs> they're the middlemen. They're the middlemen. You know? They're working the negotiations. <laughs> That's right. You know, it's all in the name of God. We get, we're out to get the, the proof of religion back into people's hearts and souls. And, you know, churches aren't filled no more. People don't believe. And, it's you know, a shame, it's isn't truth. it? It's the raw truth, bro. Well, it's a shame that they don't believe anymore. It's, you know, they can believe yes. in SpongeBob and God knows what on TV and what our politicians are telling them. But they can't believe in a one all powerful entity known as God. And that's exactly it. I mean, you got our troops, you know, that's in Iraq, Afghanistan. They're taking orders, you know, from their generals, which eventually comes up somewhere near the president, top of the line. Right. We get we get our orders strictly from God. Yeah. Then there's no higher than that. Nope. You you know, get, there's no higher power to answer. To to, that's our mission: is to prove life exists after our physical death. All right. Now. I, I know something about you through uh, another uh, interview or something you did. Uh, you call yourself a warrior for God. Correct, Mundo. Now, what gave you this idea, or or the, where did you get this calling from? Well, you know, since uh, 16, usually everybody experiences something. They look for a quest to see Correct. what it's about. Well, I, since 16, all through my 20s, you know, partying days, always stuff going on, right? Right. And I could never figure out what it was, you know. I mean, come on, I was in high school back in the mid-70s, so that says something there. You know, but I, I don't know if you believe in visions. I do. Uh, I mean, like it says, back in the 70s, I had some visions, but they were brought on. Uh, but uh, I, I had this dream, man. And I had a couple of angels take me, and they took me out of here, and I saw everything from hell to heaven. Wow. And everything in between. And and I what I got out of it was that what I have, you know, the gift that I – I'm strictly speaking for me. Right. You know? But what I came across that I need to do is to get out there and show life existed. After show us. That there is a God. You will meet your maker at the end. Right, and Always right. watch what you ask for because you just might get it. Correct, correct. Well, that's cool, man. I know everybody has a story, and I knew you had to have had one in order to be a uh, what you call your self-professed warrior of God. So I knew there had to be some background on this that gave you the drive to do what you do. Yeah, I have, I have no fear. You know, I, I, I bring, I've noticed. I challenge, it. I challenge to bring it on. You know, I was like, even though I can't fight it and it might really screw me up, it's proof. Well, look, you know? tell the viewers, yeah. tell the viewers where they can find you at on your uh, Parables Raw Truth. What's the what's your what's your site? Our site's uh, www.paranormalsrawtruth.com. Cool. So you got you episodes on there and proof and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you go to the site and uh, hit on the EVP evidence. You know, the shows are up on there, too. But check out the EVPs that aren't on the shows. Okay. There, There is some Class A stuff on there. Oh, you know, let me ask. Is, since you've been doing this five years, you and your wife, let me ask you this. I, got, I had a question posed to me on a couple other shows about EVPs and video footage and how things in this day and age with the technology – are doctored or added to what what do you think about this i mean do you think this does this help our our uh, our paranormal genre or does this hurt it no when people manipulate you know i mean um one thing our weapon okay besides the video camera which i always tell we got a camera guy i was telling no matter what happens don't stop filming right you know if i fall through a floor something rips into me keep filming but so I hear of other shows and that add EVPs that weren't there. They just add them. They put them in to make the show. Make it uh, interesting. Yeah. We don't have to do that. Every investigation that we do, we get 100, 200 EVPs, dude. Wow. Yeah. And Margie goes through them and the rest of the group goes through them. That's she crazy. She picks out the best and puts them on the site. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Like the, the ones that are clear so everybody can hear them. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to wear headphones at all times anyway. Right, right. Oh, you know, I know. Some are so faint, but you could hear them. But if we're, like, I tried to enhance them, and it just don't work. Right. I mean, you get, it does, but it just doesn't, it takes away from the real part of it, too. Correct. Yeah, I, I think that, uh, you know, special effects aside, I mean, these some of these kids or these guys that do these special effects to add to 
the, uh, 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 I don't know, the fear or the genre of paranormal by making their own videos and or movies where things are walking out of walls or floating. You know, yeah. they even do it with the UFO paranormal. I mean, that's great and all, but I think personally that hurts us. Well, if, if you see a group that does something like that with their special effects, you know, before or after, how do you know they're not doing that during their thing? By the way, Margie just joined us here. Hey, Margie, what's up, baby? Everybody, that's Margie Wiggerjen, uh, Rick Wiggerjen's wife, and that's their telephone. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't you can tell this is live. Possibly calls coming in. So. Oh, I ain't, do what you do, girl. Do what you do. Anyway, uh, but no, I I've seen so many of them, and to me, you can kind of pick them apart. You'll see where the film's been laid over. Uh, the like one of them, I I love this one, Rick. This. They wanted me to give my stamp of approval this was real. And it was a, uh, they were looking through old catacombs in Japan. Now, you, everyone's familiar with the, the, the nuclear reactors melting down in Japan. Well, they got these catacombs that supposedly the Japanese soldiers used to hide in or stockpile weapons in. Well, now they're radioactive. This team is going in there and they come across a big yellow gate. It says, caution, radioactive area, wear protective gear, enter at your own risk. They go on in with no radioactive gear on, and they find a full-body apparition of a Japanese soldier walking in and out of a wall. Now, I saw this effect, and it was explained on Scooby-Doo, of all things, on how to make someone look like they're walking through a wall, and then they're going to risk their life in high radioactivity to go yeah. find something? I don't I think so. I've seen something like that. Right. That was such bullshit. It was crazy. Yeah. I mean, you could do that with glass, you know, reflection of Like glass. a mirror, Yeah. Yeah, that's much crap, man. Oh, I know. But uh, it, it's amazing how these people try to get their stuff out there. And I understand yeah. they're trying to get hits on YouTube or wherever the hell they're at. Right. But uh, I, I personally think it hurts our profession. Yeah, it does. And you know, who the hell cares about the hits? You right. Know, We're I mean, trying to get uh, the truth out there. If people want to come and watch, great, man. They want to follow us, great. Support us. You know, but uh, like I said, uh, we go by the camera and digital recorder. You know, the ghost boxes they use where words come out and and things are said. How do you know someone's not doing that with a walkie-talkie from another Right, room? right. You know, when you get it on a digital recorder, that's that's gold, man. It, oh, I know. You can't, damn, It's crazy. You can't uh, defeat that. Right. Oh, I understand, because I mean, we've caught EVPs of our own, and, and to hear them firsthand, once they once we run them through the computer so we can put them on, a, on auditory level that we can hear or whatever, we break it down, it's incredible to hear these humans or these entities actually respond to our questions right i love it it sends like goosebumps all over you you know it's like whoa yeah, well it's a gift dude it's to hear that you know i mean it gives you belief it gives you belief what right you mean, right it lets you know that there's something after this life exactly it's really a privilege right do you think it, do y'all think that technology you know how technology constantly makes advances do you think that technology will ever will eventually get to the point to where we'll be able to see them free roaming? We don't need technology. We can do it now. No, I mean, as far as so other people who can't see them can. Do you think it'll ever catch up? You know what? I'd like to get me some of the equipment at the thermal cameras. I'd like to get that because I know we would knock the socks off of that shit. That but thermal camera stuff's pretty wicked. I've seen it used on a couple other teams. That's yeah. pretty wicked stuff, man. Yeah, you can. You can't, you know, the place we go... And the things you pick up, that would just put us over the top. Oh, that but, would set you, know, you off, man. The cheapest one is six grand. Yeah, and they're in, they're high, dude. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a real good one. No, I, I can't see that. A million bucks. No, but if there's someone out there that wants to help us out with this equipment, uh, hell, hit us up on paranormalsforalltruth.com. Drop us a line on our website. There you go. We could always use financial backers. <laughs> well. I don't know about you, but I do this for free because I do it for fun, and I just want to spread ma knowledge to the masses. I yeah. uh, I give my own twist. I know you do. And I give my own twist on everything, and I make everyone think. I, I don't want everybody to take everything at face value. So yeah. yeah, that's just my thing. That's that's my shtick, I guess you call it. Yeah, I think I, my stick is I go in, I look for the baddest son of a bitch that's in the building. Marge, she, she gets the kids and, and the ladies. There you go. I'll she take the ladies. Yeah, but the sad thing is the kids, man. When you hear kids and they ask them for help. I know. I cry sometimes because I have, I talked to a little girl 
and, and they talk to me and they say, help me, um, where's my mommy, can I come home with you? I mean, as a mother, you know, you, you, you have tears coming out of your eyes because they're asking me to help them, you know, and I can't. I try to ask them, what do you want me to do? You know, and they want to come home with me sometimes or find their mom. They're, they're looking for their mom. Yeah, try for mommy. Well, you know, I talked to a lady one time, and I, I've run into several people that claim to do several things. And this one lady, uh, which was kind of cool and stuck in my head, she said when people die abruptly, uh, especially children, when they die abruptly and they don't know that they've passed, in other words, it was so fast or so violent and so quick that they don't realize they died, that they right. think that they're still alive. That's why this little one's probably still looking for their mom. Right. You know, because they don't realize they're dead. Right, doesn't realize what happened. Probably doesn't know about the people that uh, that they're seeing. You know, right? Everyone else can't see them. Correct. Well, look, guys, uh, we've run this thing about a half an hour. It was an extreme pleasure talking to both of you. Uh, like I like he said, check them out. ParanormalsRawTruth.com, Right, Rick? That's right. ParanormalsRawTruth.com and, and uh, Twitter is Truth there you go. Follow them on Twi uh, Twitter, Twitter, whatever. Twitter. Twitter, yeah. something. And uh, catch them uh, anytime. Uh, they have their shows on dot com and dot com, your paranormal superstation. And you can catch my show every week on dot com as well as dot com as well as YouTube dot com and Ustream dot com. And remember, oh, by the way, guys, like I said, thank you for being on the show. And next year, I'm getting that VCA. <laughs> I'm waiting for that baby to put it up here on the mantle, dude. Oh, I know, man. I'm waiting on mine, brother. I haven't seen mine yet. And I made a promise oh. I wouldn't use it as an ashtray. <laughs> oh, heck no. That's going into a glass case. Hell yeah, buddy. I've seen them. They look great, dude. Yeah. But uh, uh, I had to, during the awards, I had to present that VCA, brother, just because I know you, and I knew you had to have beaten me. Uh, <laughs> I had to present. I had to be the one to give that award. Yeah, so, I remember you saying that. Yep. It was going to come down to one of us. Yep, it had to come down to one of us. Well, look, I'm going to give my disclaimer. You and Margie, take it easy. And right, uh, have yeah. a good one, guys. And peace Thanks and love to us. you. And uh, remember, guys, you're watching Wolf Tracks of the Paranormal with Bobby the Wolf Mullins. Special guest Rick and Mar Margie Wiggerson, uh, Wiggerson on uh, Paranormal's Raw Truth, BCA winners of 2012's BCA Award. And this is Bobby Mullins' best rev radio show of 2012. Uh, remember, remember what... Pay attention, open your eyes, open your mind, open your ears. Pay attention to what walks by, crawls by, flies by, or slitters by. And if you get a picture of it, send old Bobby the Wolf Mullins. And Rick, hey, you there? Yeah, buddy. Let's give that closer, buddy. Remember, I'm on three, we're going to do holler at your boy. Holler at one, two, three. Holler at your boy! <laughs>